Sweet. All right, guys, so in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing the Vibram rubber protective soles from some of my grant stones and getting the toe taps installed instead. So I've Googled this. I couldn't find anybody that's done this before. So this is a, this is an experimental round for me. <laughs> yeah, we're doing grant stone derbies and ivory suede. Oh, that doesn't look bad. I mean, those are glue. I'm gonna try to um, make that smooth. Okay. And then um, I'll take care of those. Okay, awesome. That should be fine. I'm sure it will. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, the thing is, is I'm going to be walking on the concrete with them too, and uh, eventually the glue, the glue will wear off yeah. you know, as I wear through the sole. I was thinking about that, so that should be fun. But yeah, I'm doing, uh, doing these Grant Stone Diesel Boots in Natural Chrome Excel, Alden Color 8 Long Wing Bluchers in... Color 8 Shell Cordovan. Uh, these are Grant Stones in Natural Veg Tan. Gonna have that taken off. And uh, yeah, the other the other thing that people talk about is the uh, the sole doesn't breathe as well with the rubber on it. Um, and I, I know that you know a lot of my boots already have rubber on it, but um, I guess that is one of the advantages. People, it's why people love the. Um, leather soles is because they're more comfortable to walk on and they breathe, you know? <laughs> so. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, if you compare, like, if you compare it to, like, leather soles and rubber sole shoes, yeah, um, the leather sole shoes, when you kind of smell it, uh -huh. it doesn't smell that, it doesn't smell at all. Like, oh, really? But if you smell the rubber sole shoes, yeah, it's really stinky. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I believe it though. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Yeah, the leather just it just breathes better, and I, you know you could feel it. And uh, over time, you know, th this pair, like I love this pair, but over time I, I could just tell that I think the rubber it's protecting the sole, but it's it's doing something else that, like you said, just it's not able to breathe as well. So. Yeah. And, and the other thing is I get some heel slip when I walk yeah. because the rubber restricts the, the flex of the sole. So that's kind of why I think going the toe tap route is the way for me. <laughs> so, all right, here we are three days later. Here are my Grant Stones in natural tan veg. And you can see the Triumph toe taps there. Cobbler Sunny did a flawless job. Um, you can see where the Vibram sole protector sort of left its... It did leave a little bit of an imprint, but honestly, I'm not worried about it because as I walk on these, the residue is going to wear off. So Cobbler Sunny did an outstanding job. They're completely flush with the toe. The other thing that I really want to hammer home here is just how much more flex the shoes and boots have when they actually keep their leather sole. This was something that I've never, I never paid much attention to. It's not with every single pair of shoes, and I don't know quite why it's like that, but I could tell that I do get just a little bit of heel slip. It's almost like when you put the Vibram sole protectors on the leather sole, it's almost like it, it wants to hold the sole stiff in place. And so when you walk, you don't get as much of a good flex as you would had they not been on there. And so I just had the Vibram sole protectors removed from certain pairs of shoes and boots that I thought would be more comfortable without them on. Like Cobbler Sunny says, you know, they breathe more too. All right, so on these Aldens here in Color 8 Shell Cordovan, I actually had Cobbler Sunny install Lulu toe taps, which are not Triumph, they're different. And I actually never had Vibram sole protectors on these, so I just wanted to ride these out as they came. I'm happy with the toe taps because I do wear down the toes a little bit more than probably most people do, so probably just because of the awkward way I walk. But as you can see there, absolutely flawless, perfect job. Yeah, Cobbler Sonny, he can do it all. He can, he works on 
regular cheap shoes and he works on expensive shoes and he's always done a good job on anything I've ever brought to him. These Lulu taps are cool because they have five screws instead of the three that the Triumph do, which is which is also pretty neat. And I think the Lulus just look good on a dressier shoe compared to the Triumph. And all right, this is this is my first pair of Grant Stones. One of my favorite pairs of Grant Stones in Dune Chrome XL, otherwise known as Natural Chrome XL. And I already, I was too excited. I already took a walk in these as soon as, as soon as I got them back. And yeah, there's no, I no longer have any heel slip in them, which is huge for me. They didn't have a lot of heel slip. I could just tell that there was just a little bit of resistance coming from the sole in terms of flex when I would walk. It's like the sole was leaning more towards being stiff than being very flexy. And I actually got some footage of me flexing in them. They're just so much more comfortable now. I love it. And uh, yeah, moving forward, I think in most cases, I'm going to just keep the leather sole. Like I said before, I've gotten some, some comments on some of my videos when I get the Vibram sole protectors installed. You know, people say, oh, you just ruined the shoe. They never explain themselves like as to why that's the case. And logically, it never resonated with me either because I have so many pairs of boots that are built on rubber, but it's different when they're built with rubber as the sole, as as opposed to getting a shoe or a boot with a leather sole and then gluing rubber to it. When you glue the rubber to it, it, it almost, it suffocates the sole and then it also holds it in place, preventing flex. I always ask for clarification and I never got it. I think one guy finally gave me some clarification <laughs> um, and said something, it had something to do with the flex of the sole. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm on Instagram. You can follow me there. My username is Aerosurfer LV, Cobbler Sunny. Um, I'll leave a link to his website below. He does accept mail-in orders. So if you're not in the area, you can always mail them to him. I know that's a service that he provides. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in my next video.